Lesson number 5, Food Safety. Complete the following chart with the correct information. You can see there is food source, nutrients obtained, function in body. All constituents of food, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fiber and water are necessary for the proper growth of the body. We get these nutrients from food materials like wheat, jowar, pulses, rice, vegetables, fruits, etc. However, what will happen if these food materials are infested by insects or spoiled in any way? Food spoilage Factors responsible for food spoilage Sometimes, fruits or their skins turn black. Some foodstuffs give out a foal or a bad odor. Such foodstuffs are not suitable for us to eat. Sometimes, naturally available food materials are spoiled by wrong handling, as when they are overcooked or improperly stored, say in a damp place. In such cases, the quantity of the food materials deteriorates. They may also be spoiled during transportation. The foodstuffs we consume, whether of animal or plant source, must be of the best quality. Otherwise, we may fall prey to disease or illness. Food is said to be spoiled if there is a change in the color, order, texture, quality, taste and there is a loss of its nutrient content. Observe. Various kind of changes occur in food materials. For example, fruits turn black or change taste, meat becomes sour or peanuts become rancid. All these changes occur due to factors within the food materials. Often, food grains etc. produced in farms are damaged due to the various reasons like improper handling, improper storage, improper transportation etc. Some foodstuffs like meat and milk are either acidic or alkaline. They may get spoiled due to chemical reactions on contact with metals. Sometimes foodstuffs may be spoiled due to the contamination by microorganisms or insects from the surrounding air, water or soil. Food wastage Quantitative wastage of food. Wrong methods of farming like hand sowing of seeds, inadequate threshing, improper storage and wrong methods of distribution are some reasons for quantitative wastage of food. Besides, much food is wasted as a result of the custom of offering and serving too much of food to guests at traditional feasts or banquets. Had it not been wasted, all this food could have met the need of many others. Quantitative wastage of food Using wrong methods of protection food, excessive use of food, preservatives, overcooking, washing the vegetables after cutting them, mishandling of fruits like grapes and mangoes, miscalculation of the time required to transport food from producers to consumers are some of the causes of quantitative wastage of food. Food storage and preservation. We have learnt about various methods of safe storage of food like freezing, drying, boiling, airtight packing, etc. These different methods prevent the growth of microorganism in food and thereby save the food from spoiling. Food protection and food preservation. Food protection Prevention of food spoilage by microbial growth and infestation by pests is called food protection. Food preservation Use of various preservatives to prevent for a long period of time long spoilage due to internal factors is called food preservation. National Institutions Food and Drug Administration This is a government organization that controls production and distribution of food and drugs by their standardization. Food Safety and Standardization Authority of India into bracket 
FSSAI has been established as per the Food Safety and Standardization Act 2006.